I am going to show you how to create this effect in Photoshop and basically what I have is I have some fonts here, some text and I have this pattern only showing up on the words. Um, you can see it a little better there without the background but it's a transparent background and then I have a pattern overlaying or masked onto the text. So let me show you how I've gone about doing that. The first thing I did is I started with a background layer that is solid white. And then I created my text layer on a separate layer and I kept it transparent because I don't want the background on my layer because that's gonna make this trick not work. Here is the print that I wanna put on the text. You can see it's just a random, this is a stock image that you can purchase on iStock. Um, happens to be my image that I sell on iStock but um, you can get it if you'd like. So what I do is I turn this layer on. So I have my text layer on and this layer on. And then I'm gonna hold down the Option key. I am on a Mac. If you are on a PC, you're gonna do the Alt key. But as you look, there's a little, um, just as I hold the Option key down and I put my mouse cursor between these two layers, you can see that little white box with the black arrow pointing down. You click once you're there and basically what that does is it masks it onto your text layer or onto this layer and anywhere where there are pixels showing on this layer where it says Photoshop copy um, it's going to pick up your, uh, your, your uh, print. So if I add pixels onto that layer you can see it's going to pick them up. I don't particularly think that looks good so I'm going to delete those out. Uh, the next thing I did is I added another layer on top. This is completely optional but I just wanted to show you that you can stack this Again, I'm going to hold the Option key, or if you're on a PC, it's the Alt key, until I see that little white box with the black arrow, and I'm going to click it, and it's going to add this to the, um, to the mask. And you can play around with the opacity. You can just do a very subtle amount. You can do 100% so that this one doesn't show through at all. You will notice that if you turn this layer off, it's kind of daisy changed through, so you're still going to get the mask effect. If you disconnect this one and just do that, it's not going to work. So you do need to keep these files all daisy changed and linked down to this layer. Um, also, what I would recommend is playing around with the blending modes. These are fantastic for different effects um, in, in Photoshop. And there's a lot you can do with them. And between the blending modes and the opacity, you can really create a lot of different looks. Here is another look, completely different, but I have this one set at 100% so it doesn't mix with these blue layers at all. Um, there's one more just for a sample. Oops, turned off my text layer. Um, and again, if I go down here and I add any kind of pixels to this transparent layer, you can see those black marks there, it's going to add those onto my mask, which I don't want. So link that back up. So that's basically it. That is how I created this look. Um, another thing is keep in mind if you're creating t-shirts or something where you need to see a lot of different colors underneath, you can just add different layers with your colors down here and you can kind of see how your print is going to look on top of different colors. So that's it. I hope it was helpful and let me know if you have any questions.